Good evening, guys. I thought that music was fitting for the strongest tobacco I have had so far. Cornell and Deal Havana Daydream. Definitely, I'm in a daydream right now smoking this. It's that good. No, uh, I've, I didn't like it, my first bowl that I had. Definitely not impressed by the smell out of the tin. Leathery something. I like the leather, leather smell, but I don't know. Something about it I don't like. Um, going from aromatics to this is a big jump. Uh, at first I was like, damn, that's some strong stuff. But now I'm really enjoying it after about my fourth or fifth bowl. The, uh, the cigar notes that you pick up are very gentle. It's not like smoking a stogie, that's for sure. And there's a nice sweetness from the uh, Virginias that it gives throughout the bowl, which is very nice. Would I order it again? Yeah. After I try the other uh, cigar blends like Billy Bud and Key Largo and stuff like that. And Robusto, which I heard is good. So I'll get those ones and then see which one's my favorite and keep that in stock always. But if you're thinking of going uh, to your first cigar blend, this is the one to try first in my opinion. But you probably can't go wrong with the others either. They were so good. On a side note, this turned out to be not a winner in my book. I was I was pumped to try this out and nearing the end of it I just I don't see a reason to ever buy it again disappointing because anything chocolatey I'm into I know there's another chocolate blend I think it's uh, I can't remember who makes it but there's another chocolate one that everyone likes gonna have to look that up Alright guys, well, stay cool. I know everybody's dealing with a lot of humidity right now. It's making uh, smoking outdoors a pain in the ass. But there's a uh, relief in sight for me anyways. I know tomorrow and Saturday is supposed to drop down to like 60 during the day, which is awesome. Alright guys, have a good night. Alright, we'll talk to you soon.